watching out for. Now we could use some of that rain, especially some of our lawns out there, right? Take a look. We still have Hurricane Burrell with uh, winds now down to 115 miles per hour. It's still a major hurricane. Category three brushed right by the Cayman Islands earlier this morning and now pushing a little bit further toward the Yucatan Peninsula. That's where it's headed next and we will continue to fall off just a little bit before it gets there. I'm thinking a category two hurricane by the time it gets over toward the Yucatan Peninsula. That will happen probably by Friday morning and then moving out to the Gulf is a tropical storm, but could make landfall over into Mexico uh, as a category one hurricane. And then the remnants would have an impact on southern Texas. OK, not going to focus on our forecast at all. This will be by Tuesday, early of Tuesday next week. You're looking at uh, the remnants uh, kind of floating around there over toward Texas, so not posing a threat for us for now. You're looking at our forecast track model. It shows again that southerly flow that we'll have out there after about one o'clock is when we can start to see some of these isolated showers beginning to pop up. A couple embedded thunderstorms will be in a few of those. Want to get those out of the way as we head into the evening, right? To get those fireworks in. Stop there here by 7 o'clock, and you can see how they're starting to diminish just a little bit. Certainly by 9 o'clock, when the firework displays uh, typically happen, and they don't have a lot of showers around the forecast area, so we'll be sitting good there. All right, and so we'll be looking at that as we head through the rest of the weekend. You're looking at temperatures up to 93 degrees on Saturday, Sunday, 95. We'll stay in the low 90s as we head through the work week next week with chances for rain each and every afternoon.